Hi YouTube, and this is JTrain997, and I'm back this time with my review of the Iron Man The Armored Avenger Legend series, Initiative War Machine. Now, I was really excited to see this guy, um, especially how seeing the first lines Rocky start with a, basically a couple of movie repainted figs and one previously unreleased sculpt. They were getting an all new figure, despite it does have some re a lot of reused parts on it. And this guy, um, he just looks awesome here in the packaging. I'm going to go ahead and talk, say that the paint detail on this guy is fantastic in a lot of places. Um, basically, anywhere he's supposed to have light emanating from him, they've done an amazing job on the paint to make it look like it's glowing around him. Of course, um, he has his missile, which fits into his Gatling gun up here, or Gatlin cannon. On the back of the packaging here, strangely enough, they've reversed the picture of the figure, just like they reversed it with the Crimson Dynamo. You can tell because of the way the fist and open hand are. His read-up says, Upgraded with the latest in start technology, Jim Rhodes took easily to training initiative recruits. His military background, combined with his experience as a hero, gave him an advantage few of the other trainers had. Many of the recruits viewed him with awe, especially when they witnessed the sheer power of his armor. Over here are the um, Series 2 figures, which were Crimson Dynamo, Stealth Strike, Iron Man, and Evolution Mark V armor. So, um, as I've already said, this figure looks fantastic in the packaging. Let's pull him out. And here we have the Initiative War Machine figure out of the packaging. And I've got to say, I love how this guy looks. Um, the cords attaching from his missile launcher to his Gatling gun, or cannon if you prefer, even if you would consider this a missile launcher as well. I'm used to the classic look where it was a Gatling gun. Um, this guy has phenomenal detail. Um, as I've already said, how they make the glow, like the glowing effect with the paint around his hands and everywhere he would have lights, really makes this figure stand out. Um, the only paint um, apps I find that are mis um, poor at all is that down here on his legs, right here, they went with the same flat white, where on the back of the packaging, it would seem that they were supposed to be silver, but oh well. Um, that's a very, very small detail that's overshadowed by how awesome the other paint apps on this guy are. And um, as you can see, the firing missile launcher, there's a button up here. You press it, and it fires. And as you can see, it actually kind of gets a little bit smaller when you put the missile blast back in. Um, all these cords are removable, and his weapons can flip back on his back. Um, now, unfortunately, like the other figures from this line, his head is his head sculpt's unusually loose, and I don't know why that is. Now, that's not to say you can't post it like you want, but it does have some small issues. Um, I just love the look of this. It's a real shame they didn't stick with his design as far as armor. As far as articulation, you've already seen what his shoulders can do and his head can do. His admin articulation is very nice. This forward back can do a full 360. Um, you have to disconnect the cords to get the full 360 out of the arms, but you can do it. The shoulder pads are actually on their own little joint, so you can move them to get better articulation. Spins at the bicep, double jointed at the elbow, spins, and bends at the wrist. Um, now, his legs are a little bit stiff. They are on a ball joint, but I can't... Well, they're freeing up as I move them, but they go out, spin, are double jointed, and have an ankle joint. So, um, yeah, articulation is absolutely fantastic with the exception of the legs, which I think will free up over time. So, um, overall, this line is very hard to find right now, at least at the time I'm making this video. Um, the only place in my local hometown that has got these is Toys R Us, and they've only gotten Wave 1. Um, this is Wave 2, and I had to get this and the Crimson Dynamo also from Wave 2 offline. So that's very unfortunate because despite the fact that there are a lot of um, repaints in this line, a lot of figures that I just don't care to have, there are a few gems like this figure, the Titanium Man, and the Crimson Dynamo. Um, so that being said, I would definitely recommend waiting for this guy or going online and picking him up because he's a fantastic war machine and if you're an Iron Man fan, you've got to have him in your collection. Seems to be wanting to fall a little bit now, but let's get him standing real quick for the end of the review. Um, now at Toys R Us, these are running you a staggering almost twenty dollars. It's like seventeen bucks. That's a bit much, but I'm sure as it comes out at other stores, because Toys R Us has charged a lot for a lot of figures lately, that the price will drop. Unfortunately, online you're going to pay more because, well, like I've said, these are a pain to find. But even with that, the amazing paint apps in this figure, fantastic articulation. You must own this if you're an Iron Man fan. This is J Train 997 saying I'll see you soon, YouTube.